Music is all around us, whether it is in funny videos or in catchy songs that appear multiple times all over YouTube. <clears throat> what would happen if you could play music? No, I d don't mean an instrument. Rhythm games. <laughs> we love rhythm games. I've been exposed to rhythm games since I was a little kid. In the form of DDR. Or, um, as a lot of people know, it's Dance Dance Revolution. More specifically, the Xbox version. Growing up, I had an Xbox 360, so I played using the plastic mat. And that little plastic mat would, like... It's, it's for some weird reason, it's really... It takes up so much space. I don't know why. It, it it was it also gathered up dust really easily. And I don't know why if it was because of the plastic and material. All I remember was that it felt really scrunchy. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I remember spending a lot of time playing on that game. However, I can't tell you much about it because I didn't know that much English at the time. So I would mostly just put random options in the game and the hope that the game would pop up. And I do remember there was like some flowers and stuff or something like that. Different colors meant different difficulties. I don't know. So, due to my horrible memory, I went ahead and asked my mom about my skill level on the game. But apparently everyone was hit with amnesia regarding the game or something because she said she remembered I was good at the game, but that was it. I asked uh, my dad and my brother. They also don't know. They just said they remi remember me playing. So, take what I say with a grain of salt. All I remember was spending a lot of time trying to follow the arrows and such, and I found it really fun. But I really loved the game, and I really want to play it again, and I was planning on playing it, but I don't have the map with me since it's still in my hometown. So maybe I'll bring it back from there. That way I can play it. Despite my strange introduction to rhythm games, I still continue to play them today. I've also played one of them in the ch channel, which is Taiko, both the web and Switch version. I still remember how I got into Taiko. I was actually scrolling through YouTube when I found a live stream for Celeste gameplay by a YouTuber called Kevin202. I was having a really good time, they were really entertaining, and I really felt comfortable in their live chat. I was just trying to do some work while also listening to their stream, and I found them oddly entertaining. So I subscribed to them, and later on I found out that their main form of content was actually Taiko. And by seeing them play, I got really motivated to want to try it out for myself. Because it just looks so much fun, like so much fun. And I mean, there was also some Undertale songs in there, so I'm pretty sure that had a lot to do with it. Because Un Undertale has a soft spot for me, it's, I'm biased towards it. <laughs> so, once I learned that you could play Taiko on your computer, I of course started playing it there. And a lot of people in the server know how I got into that as well. I started playing more on that, and then the user by the name of Blub was also really into Taiko at the time, so they also pushed me to keep playing Taiko, which I found really fun. And there's like lots of more people that I didn't know of that played Taiko. And I found a lot of cool people through Taiko too. And after I subscribed to Kevin and I realized that you could play Taiko on the web, I was able to also, well, play it at school too. And I got a lot of my friends involved with the game as well. Um, one of them being Augustus and um, the other being Ritz. We would play Taiko whenever we had the chance. But later on, due to my obsession with Taiko, I got Taiko Rhythm Festival on the Switch. And... Honestly, I loved Taiko Rhythm Festival because it was like playing in the drum and I know it's crazy for somebody to like motion controls for Taiko, but I found it really endearing. I just love the motion that you do and I mean it isn't that bad. You get used to playing in motion controls and I don't really like the buttons for the switch, so yeah. But through the use of Taiko, I was able to find another game by the name of Project Sekai. And Sakai was actually really popular already in um, one of my one of my um, friend groups. I'm, I don't really talk to them as much, but 
Um, I do heavily involve myself with one of their members because they're in a lot of my classrooms. And I mean, I'm still friends with them, so I talk to them from time to time. And after seeing them play Sakai and it popping up in my recommendations for YouTube and my ads, <laughs> I fell into pressure and I got Sakai. Rhythm games are fun because they have something that sets them apart. For example, as previously stated, in Taiko, you can either play on your keyboard, motion controls, which is what I like, and the actual drum. But they're really expensive. I tried it. I really wanted to get one, but I saw the price and I got scared away. <laughs> um, or you could also play on the buttons on the Switch, like I said before, but I don't really like it, so I don't play like that. And for Taiko, the pattern comes in like little circles that are blue or red. Which you hit depending on what you play on. It's Don or Ka. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this wrong. But... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, there's different ways you can hit these notes. But I don't really want to focus too much on that yet. And... Um, oh, for Sakai, you play with your fingers. It's kind of like a piano tiles game. But there's like different aspects to it. There's also flick notes, which you know, um, quite literally flick your screen in order to hit that note. And there's also um, some slidey notes, where you just hold the note. And it's a nice challenge. I don't like flick notes, but they're, they're nice. They're fun when um, used correctly. <laughs> there's a lot of variety too on rhythm games that I haven't touched upon yet. Um, for instance, I know someone on Discord AKA um, Loser, who plays Project Diva. Um, that, I think I believe it focuses primarily on Miku, but I could be wrong. And I know another user um, plays Fire and Ice, which is two little dots. I'm sure a lot of people have seen them on your YouTube recommendations along with Osu. Um, for some weird reason, I primarily get a bunch of videos of rhythm games recommended in my YouTube shorts feed. And I think, I think that's how I started getting more into it. That and the craze with Friday Night Funkin', although I didn't really join in because um, Friday Night Funkin' wasn't really um, my jam. I'm not sure why, I just didn't really find it that interesting to obsess over. I'm not sure why, a lot of people did, but I wasn't one of those. I liked watching content, but I didn't like playing it. But um, some other games that I haven't mentioned are um, games like Parappa, Scratching Melody, Melatonin, and there's so many cool ones that I've seen in the server because a lot of people share their screen there when we go into voice chat and there's some cool rhythm games that I don't know the name of but they look really cool and I wish I could play them as well. Although money is a problem, I'll be honest because, you know, that's a lot of games. <laughs> And we can't really talk about rhythm games without Hatsune Miku because she's a big part of a lot of good rhythm games. She has really good music and it's extremely catchy. One of the main examples of Hatsune Miku playing a role is obviously um, Sakai. Project Sakai um, uses a lot of uh, Miku songs. And it focuses on so many Vocaloid singers. So I really enjoy Sakai because of that. And an important thing to note about rhythm games is that they're really, um, difficult, fast, and overwhelming. But I um, still love them despite all of that. And I really recommend people to play them. They're really fun and you can work your way up. It's not that bad. And I love playing them because just of how cool they are, how much fun it is to play along with some of my favorite songs or it's a good way to find new music that I never knew existed. A lot of my 
um, songs in my playlist are from Sakai because of just how much I love the Miku songs. And I also love playing Sakai because of all those songs that I recognize being on there. And it's also worth mentioning about mods. Friday Night Funkin' had mods, and I'm sure a lot of people know about that. Um, Fire and Ice has mods. Osu has mods. And it just really personalizes the game a lot. And I mean, I really do recommend rhythm games just because of that. You can play games that have your favorite songs, or you can add them via mods. So yeah, I really do recommend people to try out rhythm games. I have fun playing them, and I really do hope other people have fun playing them as well. So I give it a 10 out of 10 from me. 